again, everybody. Welcome back to Paddy Little Wonder, episode 44. Laura's here. I'm here. Right, so I know I said next time, on the last episode, we were going to do the madman. You know, the guy with his friend that turns up at the end of the fight? Yeah. We were just doing last time? Yeah. It's been like a week and a half yeah. since we recorded, yeah, so yeah, it's been yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But there have been some developments since and we've then. we've got stuff to do. We've got stuff to do. The... You know where we're going. I'm not going to say it yet, but you all know where we're no, going. we're going to go somewhere else first because you said you keep saying yeah. at the end of every episode, we've got to go and do this thing. Yeah. And then we get to the end of a recording session, you're like, and forget. I forgot to fucking go do that thing. We're a dumb shit. So this is, this is more of a sweep up and this is more of a catalogue of all the things that I've done since we last saw you because I've been a little busy. Um, and also, uh, it's also going to be like... Uh, you know, informative, and you know, catching up on shit we've missed, and uh, what runes have I got on right now? Uh, more items, more health, more items, that's fine. Uh, that's fine, I don't need any more than that right now. Um, so, we are going to dip back in to the Nightmare of Mentis. And I believe it's this lamp we need to go to. Um, we're going to go see a brain. Brain! Brain! Uh, the brain we dropped forever ago. Yes. Um, oh, and I do need to, now the PS4 has started to take off as well, every machine in our house is catching fire. Um, so we'll see how long we last in this episode. Uh, I need to uh, tell Pete how many deads I did since yeah. I last spoke to him. Because I've been a little busy, and for reasons that will become apparent, I've taken a few. Um, in the last time since I last saw you, I have taken... Now, I'm going to... I've guessed what I think it was, because I wasn't actually tracking it. <gasps> I kind of lost count at a point and forgot to keep track because I was so happy. Oh, having... I hope you've overguessed. This is it. I thought it was between 20 and 25. So you're taking 25. So, I'm going to be honest, it might be worse than that. So I'm going to take 30. Because I feel like I missed a few and that means I've definitely caught enough. And that way, if I'm like one death over, I guess, at the end, there's some, you know, there's something there for me. Uh, I think I start from this lantern, but it might not be good. So I'm going to just start here and go up. So we're going to okay. see the brain. Okay. Uh, the brain's really easy. Got to go back into a dark room with lots of holes and yeah. find a, a way down. Okay. Uh, I might die on the way. It's been a while. So yeah, sorry about all the deaths. I should have been recording them, but I got so excited. Uh, oh, is this lift? Oh, is this lift, Laura? Okay. The one where the camera doesn't know what to do. Whee! Uh, Christ, it's been a while. Um, do you want to do a fact while go I am on, finding this hole? Would you like an Alice kid fact? An oh, an Alice. I thought you said Alice. So who the you, fuck is you, Alice? You, you love Alice Kidd. <laughs> who the right. fuck is Alice? So, Alice Kidd in the Miracle World. For those that remember that game. Um, at the end of each level, he has a hamburger. He does have a hamburger. Right. Not originally. Okay. Originally, <gasps> in the Japanese version, there's a rice ball. But because they didn't think anybody would understand outside of Japan, they changed it to a hamburger. Oh. That's fun. Look at that. Broken rooms. That's a really fun thing. Ooh. So we're looking for something down here. Uh, anything in particular? Because I see a great big pile of nothing. Yeah. Oh. oh there, there you go. Is that a thing? What's the thing? I can't see. There's lots of glare on the TV as well. Yeah. Um, check it out. It's the brain. Okay. The brain that we dropped. This is the thing that was dropping like endless goddamn... Remember? Um, that was dropping like endless frenzy on me in the Nightmare Frontier. Okay. So before we do anything to the brain, because yeah. the brain will die, uh, we have something we need to do first. What? This. Okay. There is a reason. Right. This is the only applicable use of a gesture to do something of use in this whole game. Okay. Uh, so we just hang out here and do this for a minute. So, th yeah, this is it. So it was originally a like an onigiri, like a rice ball. Yeah. That's cool. Like the triangle one. Did you see any pictures? Or No, I didn't. I just, I just got the Did that make... Thing. So you say... I was a little bit distracted. I was trying to think. Yeah. So is it in the original... Ver like in the Japanese version, is it a rice ball? Yeah. Huh. That's yeah. cool. So, again, because of... I mean, it's a bit different now, I think, with, you know, when you've actually got, you know, more than two pixels on a screen, mm. you could potentially do something so people could understand that it's a rice ball. And because of, you know, like, everyone watches anime now and mm -hmm. everything know, knows a bit more culturally about other countries, you probably understand. But, yeah, a hamburger probably... 
is a, a fairly universal. Mm. I mean, there's probably some countries where you could. Yeah. Like India. I, I, yeah, but I think hamburger is fairly universal. I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I got. It was moon. moon. I got a big moon rune. The big moon rune. I can't remember what moon does. Oh, it's just more blood echoes. Well, that's actually quite good. Okay. That's actually pretty fucking good. Um, right. So was that it? No. No. We'll put this on so we can see. So, um, it's time to die. Look at it jiggle. Got a lot of health. Is that boobos? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, an old one. Oh, it's a baby of an old one. It's an infant old one that's like a brain that hasn't formed. Like you can see, like the the attempt at arms. Or a hand or something. And again, it's just covered in like winter lantern eyes all over it as well. Like, you remember the, the, the ladies who. Yeah, yeah, I know. What chomp they you. Are. So look, that's a hand. That is a full on hand. Look at that finger. So why are you beating up a baby? Well, firstly, because all eldritch beasts must die. And secondly, have I got my gun out or my torch? Let's. Let, do you know what? Let's. 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 Give... <laughs> do your usual. There's a magical place we're on our way there. That is very slow. That's you're gonna run out of shit. I am. I'm gonna run out of bullets. No. The flame spray will kill the child of a great one. This is important. Oh wow, that's like four sword hits. Four. That did 700 damage. Wow, I spent every much all my bullets do less damage than I just did in that one combo. Yeah. Let's get it close, and then finish off. I don't know why this is it. I mean, I found this legit on my first run. I, I just came down like, ugh. I mean, other than... Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Right. Die, um, beast. Other than someone telling you to do that gesture, would you ever know to do that gesture? Does it say... Someone say it. I saw a message on the floor that said, try gesture. And I tried a few. And let's go. Come on. Nope. Nearly there. There we go. <laughs> right. We got the living string. Living string is very good. It's okay. a chalice item. You need it. Right. To do the chalice dungeons. Without the, chalice, without the living string, you can't do... The what, later what chalice dungeon. It? It? It's a chalice material. Oh, we'll oh, look at the item. Yeah, yeah, we'll look okay. at the item. We'll look at the item. So that is something I've been meaning to do for like ten episodes, and I yeah, keep forgetting to come you, back. Literally, as soon as you're like, and stop, yeah, and then brain. you're like, oh, fucking damn it, fucking brain. Uh, let's look at the living string living in the brain. menu. Here we go. Special material. The immense brain that menaces retrieved from the nightmare was indeed lined with eyes on the inside, but they were of an evil sort, and the brain was terribly rotten. Even so, it was a legitimate ra uh, great one and left a relic. A living relic. So it's just a bit of goo from the brain. Okay. Yeah. Look at these horrible, horrible, horrible things. Hands and slugs and, it, like, backbones and stuff. Miserable. Your pockets must suck. Oh. They must smell something nasty. This game, nasty. I think, this probably smells worse than Blight Town. Think of all the goo in your pockets. Think of all the slugs and, like, body parts and, like... Just goo. Just And every time goo. you try and put your hand in your pocket to retrieve something, you come out and there's needles in your arm. Mm. Um, so, now we're back in the Hunter's Dream. Yeah. Okay, now we're back in the Hunter's Dream. Time to give you a little bit of a story. Okay. Okay, so I uh, decided that I wanted to give myself some more options. Right. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to get myself a couple of extra cleavers. Um, cleavers? Cleavers, yeah, because there are two versions, or three versions, of every weapon. Right. As you can see here, I've got the sword cleaver, I've got the uncanny sword cleaver, and I've got the lost sword cleaver. Right. The only difference, you see the slots uh, in the middle there, yeah. star star triangle. Uh, the regular one is star star moon, the uncanny is star star triangle, and the lost is star triangle moon. So that depends what kind of gem you can put in it. Right, right. So I've got some right, triangle, right, right, I've got right, triangle right, gems right. that won't right, go in right, this. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. wanted to give myself some more options because, you know, the game's going to get weird and I'd like to have, you know, a, a poison set up. And I think you need a yeah. lost one to make that work. Yeah. Um, so I dipped into some uh, chalices to go find one. Okay. Because I can get into some of them now. So I looked up some glyphs online and I dipped in and I got the, I got the weapons really easy. They're, they're kind yep. of not exactly hard. They're usually yep. in like the level one yep. area. Dipped around, got the weapons all right. But I had to level them up. 
So I kind of ground out for a little bit. That's where a few of the deaths came from. Yeah. Ground out for a bit and upgraded yeah, yeah, them to yeah. like six and eight. I had a bit of stuff on me, but okay. not much. I was like, right, the, the, the place I'm getting stuck though is on chunks. Right, which is always. the third. It's always chunks, yeah. Always which chunks. is the third upgrade material. And I kind of like, there's a few ways you can get them. Uh, you can buy them. Yep. Uh, up in the uh, messenger bar. But you need insight for that. You need insight, and you need 20 insight to buy a chunk. Ooh. You need 16 chunks to upgrade a weapon from okay. plus 6 up to plus 9. It costs you 3, 5, and 8 altogether, so it's 16. Right. That's a lot of insight. And then to get the plus 10, a blood rock, which costs you 60. There are very, very rarely a couple of blood rocks in the Talus dungeons, but I've not found any yet. Right. Um, and they are like late game horseshit. Yeah. So I decided to go farm wolves instead. Uh, you know the horrible, horrible orphanage area where I got stuck for ages. There's blue-eyed wolves there. There's brain suckers. It's dark. No, but anyway. Yeah, it's anyway. it's up the top where. Um, uh, anyway. So I farmed wolves for ages. I put on all my eye runes and I found I farmed wolves for probably three hours, and I got maybe five chunks. Right. That sucks. Right. I don't want to do that. That's no. really slow. So I thought, right, what else can I do? How else can I get some chunk? And then I started looking things up. Yeah. Because I, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. Uh, I've been arguing with Ellie a lot recently, good natured arguing, but arguing about the legitimacy of using Chalice Dungeons in a Blood Level Four. And it, here's my opinion, right? On a Blood Level Four, what's yeah. the requirements for it? Uh, you've got a bleed Blood Level Four. They don't level up. Everything else, for everything else, there's Mastercard. So like, I don't I don't care. Like, I will take every ad advantage given to me. So, I had a bit of divin around, and I just picked a random chalice. Let's see if this is one of the ones that I need to look at. Uh, that one is for later, I think. Yeah, we'll look at that one later. Um, so, I picked a chalice at random, and I'm going to do that now. Okay. Uh, so, Church by Glyph. Uh, nope, nope, wrong one. That's to find a specific one. So, Root Chalice, right. Dumaru, Death one. I thought, I'll just get some insight. Okay. Because this is when I was thinking, I'll just farm out some insight, yeah. buy yeah, some yeah. chunks. Uh, so I've got root chalice, begin church. This is the basic level, bottom bottom line chalice. Uh, I'm trying to explain this for everybody as well. So you've got a few chalices here that have got like, oh look, there's like one person in that one. There's, you know, you see the little messengers on the top right? Yeah. That shows you how popular it is. And you can go through and there's, there's some that are popular. And oh, oh, we'll start hitting some numbers now. So if we go down, we start getting some weird stuff. Because these people have like changed these chalices a bit. And made them a bit odd. So we're going to pick one at random. Let's go for this one. It's got okay. four people in it. We're going to go join that dungeon. And it doesn't cost you anything to do this. You search by chances that other people have made. Um, I think the first one I found was from uh, a Souls person called Zully the Witch, who's yeah. good into like, the hacking and the yeah. modding and okay. the okay, okay, okay. finding all the lost content. Uh, and it was one of Zully's ones that I went into first. Because I was confused. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought, oh, this one's popular. I'll go into this one. I didn't look at any of the stats, any of the names. I just thought, I'll go in and discern some quick insight. Yeah. So, you dip into a chalice. And you think, all right, okay, let's see what's going on in this nice easy chalice. Easy peasy, run through it, hack a lack a lacka, get on out, get on with my day. I haven't been in this one. This is a rando. So let's have a little look. So we're in a Thumerian labyrinth. You know, this should, it should be basic bitch chalice, right? Basic bitch, easy peasy. So we whiz out, and we see if we can find ourselves a side door. Oh, we've got one, there we go. And usually, there's a reason that these ones get the popular. So we're going to nip in, we're going to find this one. Oh look, there's a... There's a rat! You get killed by that rat. Look Wait, how much damage I've already taken. Wait, that was two thirds of your health. Yep. Oh, thank God. So, look how much damage that's taken. A, a lot? Yeah, that's a lot for this right. sort of zone. Like, that is a lot of damage. That, that enemy is strong. Um, I... Have not checked this chalice beforehand. I do not know what's in here. I'm just going to go diving, but I want to replicate what happened to me the first time. Like, I went in like, hang on, these hollows are a bit strong, aren't they? Like, that rat. Look how much damage that rat's taking. It's a fair chunk of souls. Yeah. Like, I didn't notice the souls until later. Like, I was like, fuck, weird. Uh, I'm going to put my gun back on, actually, because it might be handy. Did you fill back up with bullets? Yes, I've got 20. Uh, bullets always refill when you visit the dream. Okay. Or a lamp. So, I'll... Poked around, you know, a little nosy. Saw what I could find. Um, let's see what's in this one. Anything hidden down the sides? No. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what's in here. Um, and typically... <laughs> Woof! 
Okay. Right. 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 So we've got ourselves a ladder. We've got the ladder and see what we got. So the enemies have been a bit strong. And again, look how much souls I've got. I've got 23,000 already. And I've been in through... What the <laughs> fuck was that? I think that was a... a wolf. Right. So we're going to leave him down there. Oh. Hello. You shouldn't oh. be here. And then that happens. Yeah. But there's a chest over there. See that chest? Yeah. That's the aim. Okay. So, there's stuff down here that should not be down here. Right. And I pushed through the one I got into. I'm going to run through one more time. I want to see what's in that chest. Um, I pushed through the one I went to. Right. Because I saw a chest. Like, fuck it, I want that chest. I want to see what's in that what chest. It? What? I think it gave me an uncanny Lagarius wheel. Which is something that... Okay. I can never use, but like, um, okay. Like, that's, that's weird, huh? Come on then, rat. I can fight you up here. I can, I can fight a rat. So, choppy, choppy, choppy. Jo Again, lots of damage. Lots of damage on the rat. I want to piss off this boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what happened there? And I, I'm going to play Jiggle this one. Felix. Fuck you. Okay, fire does very well against these things. This is fine. So going back to an earlier thing, is plus 10 the top for the weapon to Plus 10 is the best weapon one can take. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see what the message says. Nothing but ritual materials here. Okay. So we know that there's going to be some good ritual materials down there. That's, that's okay. fun. Watch... Because I bet that guy's going to jump straight on your head this time. Yeah, I'm going to... Not even wait I'm for not you. even going to worry about the slug. I'm just going to go for it. Did he already jump down? I can hear something. No? Oh, maybe he's in the room. I think he's in the room. Well, there's an item there. Let's see what we got. Blood vial, that's fine. That's going to be locked on the other side. What is that noise? Uh oh. I can make him fall down the hole. Uh, I doubt it, but I'll give it a go. Well, I want what's in the chest. Alright, mate. Alright, mate. Nice try. Now fall down the hole. Down the he hole. might fall down the hole. I'm gonna bamboozle him. Bamboozled, bamboozled. I don't think you bamboozled enough. Nope, not even close, but I think I can get the item at least. See if you can get your souls back as Ritual well. Ritual Blood 5. Uh, the souls are in him. Oh, which is so. You'd be fucked. Fuck it, we're just gonna explore. Oh, oh there's, there's that one. one. Oh, and there's a door. Is that the door I was at? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Well, that's a little weird little side yeah. room. So. Oh, there's a thing in here. It's fine, I remember. Um, so yeah, these are like this is what's called a, res a reverse depth dungeon. So I looked this up afterwards. I didn't come here on purpose, but this is how I ended up doing yeah. it. So this is a reverse depth dungeon. Basically, it's a dungeon that's been dwindled around with a bit by some naughty people, uh, and it means there are level five challenges in a level one dungeon. Which you yeah. can go in and get some hot shit without having to go all the way into the chalice dungeons. But it's surrounded by hot shit. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to go through like 27 fucking chalices to get there. You can get some good ass shit. And people are recording like what they find. It's yeah. the same stuff you find. So they'll write down, oh, this one's got this much souls. Or this one's got this kind of echoes in, which yeah. is kind of cool. So I went in there. Uh, so uh, I found this challenge next. And I'm going to show you this one because this one's fun. Uh, I'm going to expunge this one. Uh, and search by glyph. Now this is where you know which one you're going to go to. Uh, so this one's going to be uh, P... Two TB. I did just try putting in random codes, and nah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because they've got like unique identifiers on them, so you can't just put in random codes. You can't just put in like a word and it comes up with a yeah. particular thing. Uh, no, this is a Zully one. This is one of Zully's ones. Okay, I think you're gonna like this one. This one's fun, and I'm not gonna go all the way into this one because it's hard. But I'll show you what I found. Okay. It's fun. I'm gonna have a quick sip of tea. Oh, any questions? Yes, but we're 20 minutes in the episode already. Oh. So, yes, I have a question, but we're going to save it for the next one. This is more it's of an informative boy. informative chat for everybody. Oh, I hate information. Shut at you. Um, 
So we are any minute now. See, this is good because these reverse depth chalices, you wouldn't be able to get to these normally via the chalice search because you have to be so far into them to make them work. Right. Uh, this allows you to get to hard dungeons without kind of unlocking them in a way. Okay. Um, so look at this shit. Oh, it's all planty. It's all planty and gooey, like everywhere. Um, so I dipped into the side room on this one. This is again one of the ones I dipped into at random. I thought it was just cool. I thought I'd show you this one. Uh, and I've forgotten the layout completely. I think it's a monster. Over there. No, it's fine. Uh, so we've got a regular ass hollow who can still. Again, look at all that damage. Usually I'm used to doing them in one hit. No. Bad Mr. Mess. If you get killed by a rat, I'll be very upset. I will be very upset also. So, this is cool and creepy, right? Yeah. So we hit a zone. And we cool. hear something. Do you hear it? I hear something. Okay. I'm going to head up here. I'm going through, I think it's that door. Yeah, it's this door. <laughs> there's a, a, a ball in this one. I stood too far forwards. I thought it was a little further. But anyway, there's a ball in that one, and it leads to a chest that gives you a maximum strength eye rune. The okay. eye rune increases your item drops. Okay. So remember that, watcher. That's going to come up in about five minutes as to why right. that's good. I wasn't intending to find that. I just picked them at random, and I wrote it down because I thought it was a cool one to go to. So we're going to leave now. Uh, but I wanted to show you how cool that one was. So we're going to leave this one. So oh, yeah, it was a cool, a cool textures. Mm. So we've been there. We found some cool shit, right? Yeah. Um, so it's now time to go to the place everyone wants us to go. Everyone wants you to go I had, to... Now, I learned about this from the wonderful Umfa, who put up his gun-only uh, Bloodborne guide, only using firearms. The man is a psychopath. An absolute psychopath, but he needed some money because he yeah. wasn't doing very well. So he went to a specific dungeon. You know where we're going. I had three separate people send me this once Kotaku put a, a, a text up about it. We're going to the Cum Dungeon. And I've got a question from Sinewu for you. Okay. At the Law Hunter on YouTube. Um, Laura, explain Cum Dungeons. Um, explain it. I'm not going to help. Explain it. If I have to explain it, you've obviously never gone on, like, Uborn or uh, any of the porn sites. Because just go type that in and I'm pretty sure it'll be fairly self-explanatory. Yeah. Did you see that? There was a delay on me even being allowed to go in it. Oh. Maybe lots of people are in it. It's not that sort of thing. So, this is the Cum Dungeon. Right. The Cum Dungeon is doing the rounds on the internet and you knew I was coming. You knew I was going to come Well, the moment you said, oh, come dungeon. <laughs> yeah. It's because the glyph is come. 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 Yeah, I can read, Patrick. Right, so. I got that. Hey, oh, do you need joke. souls? Do you need souls, like, really quickly? Because who wants to grind? I want you to just take a quick look in the top left. I just want you to tell you if something looks odd. You've got a, an extra egg up. Something nope. down and something up? Something's missing. What? Can you see what's missing? It's so infinitesimal, it's barely even there. Your health? Yes. This dungeon is triple cursed. Okay. I am down 900 odd percent of my HPs. Uh, I'm on, yeah, 9 HP. Okay. So, this is the cum dungeon. <laughs> you walk forward. You look to the left. Uh, things are dying? Something dies. Is everything dying by itself? And you get 83,000 souls. <laughs> and then what you do... Is you leave. Is you use a homeward bone to re-ping yourself back to the lantern. Now, you would go... Touching the lantern would take you back to Hunter's Dream. Right. If you use the coin, it takes you back there. Now, notice it says place name layer one. This area's busted. This area shouldn't be. So, again, we come out. And we stand here. Okay, even I think this is drippy. And we wait. And that time it didn't die. No. You have to go kill it yourself. What is it? What's, what's dying? I don't know. 
I don't want to even open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nine fucking Laura, elf. It gives me 83,000 souls. I don't want to know what's through that door. There's a lot of fucking souls. <laughs> so we're going to walk out. Don't even want a sneaky peek. Go on, go to sneaky peek. I think you have to walk out. I don't think you can sprint. I think you have to walk and just watch. Go open the door. But I'm scared. Open the door. Fine, all right. This is going to be hateful. Go on, what? see who's waiting in your cum dungeon. I need the holes. If I get hit once, it's over. What is the thing? It's like over this way, isn't it? The thing. Yeah. I can't believe we're actually going into the fucking cum dungeon, Laura. <laughs> There's some rats. There's nope. lots of rats. Nah. No. Nah. You pussy. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. It, it, okay. All right. Hang on. It would be you up. You pussy. I'm going up the stairs. Go up then. I'm going up the fucking This is triple curse, Laura. If I take one chip of damage, I'm a dead man. That guy's looking at you funny. He is. It's the only way to go. Oh, is it the choppies? What? I think it's the choppies that does it. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe. You got. I'm so scared. No, it wasn't. Oh, it. God, another one. Okay. Oh, no, this is a problem. Chop, chop. Well, we're exploring the Come Dungeon properly, him? everyone. I think it's him. Is it him? It's him. Is he a runner? I need to. Hang on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about him. Um, so yeah, I need to work out the real strat. I think you have to just walk in quietly. I don't think you sprint. I think you just walk in. Well, you've lost all those souls. So that's that's fine. fine. I can get him in a minute. And <laughs> Laura, I'm at the cum dungeon. Doesn't matter. There you go, Pete. I died in the cum dungeon. I went in. No one else is going in. Everyone's just walking to the room, coming home. I'm walking in. I'm showing you what's in the cum dungeon. I'm trying to find out what dies. I think that is one of the strongest chalice enemies. Just say it some more. You just like selling it. Cum dungeon. <laughs> it's gonna walk forwards. Cum dungeon. Ah, it's broken. <laughs> you broke it. Cum cum dungeon. Cum dungeon. No, I need you. I've already broken the cum dungeon. <laughs> of course you have. Do you think opening the door fucks it up? Do you think I have to break it and go in again? No. I might have to break it and do it again. So I'm going to walk in. There he is. There he is. There's my health bar. Stop. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Well, I do need some souls, so I'm going to go into this one quickly anyway. Because I do need some money. And die, 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 die. How much is that? How much is that? Is so that this whole episode was oh basically just an excuse for you to repeatedly say the word cum. I've broken the cum dungeon! <laughs> How can this be? What? Go get the guy on the wall. Go, go. How? So where does the guy appear behind you? Ah, he's there. Okay. Alright, mate. Go on. Oh, has he got your shit? Yeah, he has. Get your shit back. Shit. Shit. Okay, it's fine. And then there's the one <laughs> who's there. Don't even. Oh, did he just throw something at you? He did throw something at oh, me. Oh, naughty, naughty boy. Right, what? Okay, I'm going to equip the gun for a second. Because I think... Sorry the commentary's gone to shit, everyone. I thought this was how this worked. Nope, not that. That's not how you do that. It's not him! Oh, it's not even him! Where were you running? There is another dude at the other end of that thing, there though. There is. Can you see him? It's a bag man. Sure. Laura, I'm sure it's a bag man. What's that? What's that? 
It's an enemy. It's a hunter. Oh. It's a. F oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Have a look no. at where. If he's coming to get you, he he's got to come up the stairs. That way. He can only come up those stairs. Yeah, I. Maybe. Oh no. Maybe he got went back. Don't go down the ladder. I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Crazy man. That's not the right room. Well, it looks like it's. That's where I came from. Yeah. This is the real investigative journalism. Ever you heard? Journalism. Journalismism. See if he's gone back to his post. Do you think? Yeah. There he has. I'm just trying to get to you, but you can't work it out. Oh, do I need to walk away for him to give Keep up? Keep an eye behind you, because... Oh, if he just appears. He just appears up that ladder. Okay, I'm going to walk away again. Make him reset. There we go. So, everyone, if you break your cum dungeon, this is how you fix it. Eighty-three, 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 eighty-three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right. We found who it is. Okay. And I need to take the stairs. And go home. Go home now. With your nearly three hundred thousand souls. With my ill-gotten gains. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cum dungeon, and I will never remove it. Um, it is the easiest way to get souls in the world. Like it's just like, why would you not do this? Like I get, oh, I'm gonna, not going to cheat. Fuck that. Fuck that! What I'm gonna do? Farm slime boys or pigs for to hours? To be fair, if they, cause I don't, cause it's in the game. Mm. It's not, not here. Yeah. It's not like I walk through a wall, so I don't consider it a cheat. No. It's definitely a jip. Oh, it's jip. Oh, it's such a jip. But it's a super jip. If so. you've got to this point and you didn't expect Paddy to jip things, you're dumb. I'm gonna buy You're some fire dumb. paper, and I'm so... gonna leave myself about this much. Okay, there's a reason I'm leaving myself this much. So that's the cum dungeon. Okay. And I'm actually gonna remove the cum dungeon because I think if I remove it, it will shut the door again. Right. Um, when you remake it, starts off. So I need to go to one more place. One more place. One more place in this episode. Uh, and then we'll go do some real shit. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go to a chalice. Uh, who? Oh, this is the one I already kept open. Uh, is this one? This is uh, a chalice that has something in it that I need. Right. Okay. This is a... Trying to find a sinister chalice. Sinister? Sinister chalice. What does that do? A sinister chalice. Uh, this particular one will let you go... It, you can buy a chalice that lets you into higher level dungeons. Right. Normally you'd find these ones kind of naturally, but this one has a messenger bath where you can just fucking buy it. Um, I can't remember where it is, but it'll be fine. Um, it's up some stairs somewhere, I believe. Oh, so basically you found a room where you can go in and find a shop. Basically, yeah. Um, and it's, it's easy, like, it's an easy depth. It's not a problem. Um, it's not too hard. All right, mate. I just need to remember where it is, because it, I, I oh, did... Oh, see, now that's a problem in itself, because you're shook with that stuff. See that? It's more <laughs> like it. And this one's just, like, this is a fairly... Oh, there it is. See that thing in the distance? <laughs> he knew. So this... Go away, simp. Is it worth... Sorting that out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to deal with the summoner. Right. Simps die. Right, go. So there's the lever that I can go fight the boss in this area if I want. I think I've actually go. died in here recently. I think he might have... No, maybe not. I definitely died in here once because I wasn't paying attention. Right, all right. Uh, right so right, this right, is right. the um, the bath messenger. He sells. Dun, dun, dun. And actually, you can buy uncanny and lost versions of all the DLC weapons in here as well. Okay. Um, so this is what we want. Sinister Thumaru Ihil Root Chalice. Yeah. This, th this shit's horrible. Do you think they could put any more random letters in those words? Yeah, it's a pretty good set of words, isn't it? So this is the big nasty chalice that lets you get into everything. So before, yeah. there were chalices I wasn't actually allowed to go into. Okay. That didn't have the required, like, curses. Stuff's 
Yeah, there's one where you have to make, uh, an, it's, an, it's called an FRC, Fetid, Rotting, and Cursed. Each one is a debuff, and you can stack all three up, but you get better shit out of them. Man. So the Cursed one is half health, the Fetid one is stronger enemies. Um, I can't remember what the other one is, but yeah, basically... Well, I presume the other one you'd end up losing. Uh, sucky chalices. Shit. So that, the fact that I've just acquired that, means I can now go everywhere. Okay. So I can go through a list online. There's a fucking spreadsheet that says, right, in this one you'll find, uh, like, you know, uh, this rune or that weapon or these items or these chalices. I love a spreadsheet. Yeah, I've got a spreadsheet. I haven't got anything more written down. I've got a couple more chalices written down for the day, but we're running a bit long on this episode. Yes. Um, and this was really more of a information dump than any actual content. So it was a cum dump. It was a cum dump. So now I can go <laughs> and farm the cum dungeon for hours. Well, not even hours. Half an hour. Uh, and have enough money to buy every Everything single consumable ever. that I'd ever want. And I can just have all, and then I haven't got to worry about it. Okay. The thing is, the Cum Dungeon, yes, it's given you a lot of like, like money, but you can get money everywhere. It's just expediting the process. Do I want to sit there and farm pigs? Don't try no. and convince me that you're no. not jipping. Yes, it's jippy. Jip, jip, I agree jip, jip, it's jippy. I agree it's jippy. Probably the jippy. I'm going to remove this chalice now. Jip, 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 um, I, no, don't worry. I'm with you. It's fucked. It's broken. Um, but with that chalice we just picked up, yeah. I'll explain what that was for. So, we can now access what's called false depth chalices. So what we were in right. before is a reverse depth, where it is a level 1 chalice but has level 5 shit in it. But you a want... false depth is a level 1 chalice that drops level 5 materials. Uh... So when you kill bosses, they're all at level 1, yep. but they drop out chunks, very rarely a rock, like right. a slab. Um, good blood gems, good ritual materials, you okay. know, shit that okay, I'm going to okay. need later. And like, I could go through the chalices completely normally and have a real problem because it'll take forever. Or I can just do this, just expedite the process a little bit. Just expedite. No grinding. Just getting easy shit and going home. Are you enjoying saying expedite and come? Come dungeon. Is that, is that. Yeah, I expediting am. Expediting your come dungeon? Yes, I am expediting the come dungeon. Okay. Thanks. Um, so that was, I think, everything I've got for now. Um, I hope that explained the cum dungeon to everybody, because I feel like we've we've been on a little journey today. And if you want so to break wait, your wait, own version, who, who asked who asked the question? Uh, Sinu had a very brief question. So so Sinu really just wanted me to sit here and repeat the word cum. And I had the Katato article sent to me by Pete. Yeah, of course. By Jeremy Greer. Yeah. And by Sina Wu. Yeah. Within an hour of each other. <laughs> that's how much. Know you so well. That's how much the cum dungeon is is important. So that was uh, Paddy visits a cum dungeon. <laughs> and Laura was also there for the. And we've seen what's in the cum dungeon. So you know, enjoy that. So what I'm going to do between episodes is uh, go and just farm a just a load of consumables. I I don't want to worry about poison knives or fire papers or bolt papers ever again. I can just have lots. It's great. I'm so great. happy. And then we'll get so back to happy bosses about next episode. We'll get back to bosses next episode, maybe. Right. That's the thing we do, isn't it? Um, any final thoughts, Laura, before we finish up for the day? No, I want to move on to something else. It's pretty boring. Shh. No, you shush. Okay, well, thank you all for watching episode 44 of Paddy Did a Come Dungeon. Come Dungeon! <laughs> Yay! Yay! See you next time, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.